He said it. I didn't. For people that smell like weeds. <laughs> no, 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 really. It is... <laughs> New Birth is the largest land-owning black church in America. Wow. And so my position to my deacons is why aren't we not raising cannabis? I'll be able to bring in black males. They're able to do it legally. Mm. I'm teaching them farming. Oh, my God. I'm helping them to enhance the ecosystem. Uh, th th this is the kind of conversation. So if the guy, black boy in Bankhead said, they growing weed at the church? Where do I join? Yes. Take a real quick look at Jamal Bryant. This man talking about growing weed behind the church. Like a old Master P movie. Mr. Ice Cream Man or something. Who, who do we think he is? Growing weed behind the church. And people are still co-signing this man, man. Do we not see... It's it's easy. A lot of times, it seems like when it comes to Christians, we just take anything and just we'll run with anything that supposedly pastor says. This dude is trying to grow weed behind the church. And when you look at it in its totality, you see it's all about money at the end of the day. That, that's what it's about. He's talking about uh, bringing people in. Church. So you're going to bring in the trap boys into the church because you got weed growing in the back. Bro, another thing, they gonna end up stealing the weed. But I'm gonna tell y'all like this on another note, Ichabod is written over his house. And if you don't know what Ichabod means, it means the glory of the Lord has departed. The glory of the Lord has departed the temple. Because in Romans, it's chapter one, it talks about how God would give us over to the desires of our heart. Because we exchange the truth of God's word for a lie. And that's exactly what he has done. He has exchanged the truth of God's word for a lie. So God has given him over to his desires. I pray that he turns his heart back toward his first love. Because he's heading in a diabolical direction right now. 